Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just been standing here enjoying the uh, ambience of <laughs> jungle sounds and just the scenery as well. Um, so in the last video I started at a new to me map um, called Agronopolis. Uh, I think it's based in Brazil. Um, so I'm just getting started here and I'll show you real quick. Uh, I started in this field in 55 here and <laughs> I had a mishap in the last video. I, uh, when I was doing my back and forth, lifting up the planter, turning it off and on, um, I managed to not turn it back on and I have to replant a couple rows. Um, so I'll just do that real quick. And um, planting canola, uh, one nice thing about this map is there's a huge variety of crops um, to grow and I'll just scroll through here so you get your typical ones um, but then we've got uh, let's see where are they yeah so these back here one is rice one is onion um, yeah black beans which is a new one I forget what the other one those two are can't think of it uh, based on the icon. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Sorghum, rice, black bean, um, millet, sugar cane. So I think those, yeah, everything else is familiar. Um, so yeah, excited to try new, new, uh, crops. Um, and yeah, eventually I'm going to come back in here, fertilize. Uh, and one thing I noticed is like the number of fields here is like uh, I think over 80 fields. Uh, there's 70, yeah, so 81, 80, yeah, 85. <laughs> so yeah, there's a ton of fields here, uh, mostly pretty small. Um, so that's a nice thing to have, you know, diversity of crops, you know, different, you know, different crops. Um, and also might consider using the fertilizer drone um, just to make it easier for doing small fields and uh, I'll see about experimenting with that later. Uh, but yeah, for now I'm just going to hop in the cab and finish my screw up. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn on my help window real quick because uh, sometimes I forget all the different commands. Okay, and I wish the map in the bottom of my screen showed the progress planting. Okay, so I have to, well, yeah, obviously, yeah, I have to do the entire edge, too, so I was saving that for last. Okay, my GPS system, that's right, yeah, I was using a GPS system just to keep a straight line um, from my back and forth, which I didn't really need. Let's see if I can remember the, yeah, I just need, yeah, GPS is already on, so I just need to remember the steering command, which is Alt-X. Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What is... Ah, there it is. Field 55 should be loaded. There we go. Steering activated. And just take us in a straight line. Cruise control already set, and uh, I can just be hands off on the steering. Oh, what a. The width is not correct. I'm gonna have to change that. There's the beep to let me know it's almost done. Get back in the menu here. I don't know why it doesn't save the auto width. There's six meters. Okay, lines are on, guidance is on. 
and it's also uh, helping me, you know, visualize my rows here that I need to do. So that's why I keep the GPS one for another reason. So I can skip every other row, um, so I don't have to make such tight turns. So I can see how that I planted this row. I want to go to the next one over here, and there are the dots for that. Steering on. Nope, I want to go the other way. Make sure I don't make the same mistake again. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, welcome back. <laughs> the uh, game crashed for some weird reason. It didn't completely crash, but it shut down my recording. And my microphone was still recording and I totally forgot to start the visual recording again so here I am picking up after talking to myself for you know <laughs> probably 10 minutes um, so anyway to get you caught up on uh, I planted the outside edge and um, I'm making my second pass now uh, just following the ridge marker line not using GPS um, but yeah definitely filling in a lot of empty space and let's see, yeah, so the more yellow on this map, the better. Um, this, uh, la this will be my last pass. Um, yeah, totally f forgot to start the screen recording after the game kind of crashed on me, so. Oh well, <laughs> I'll have to fix that in editing later. I don't know, what, something keeps driving by and it makes loud noise like someone's talking. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's something, that, maybe that's a real thing in Brazil. But uh, anyway, I've just been ramb rambling to myself. Uh, but yeah, finally, okay, we got our first field done, canola. This is exciting. Okay, let's get out of the field. Keep driving over my seed bed. As you can see, the roads here are just wide enough to fit the uh, larger tractor, and um, yeah, basically, yeah, this you know barely fits. Actually, it doesn't really fit, but you get the idea. Like, uh, I'm just thinking later on, like trying to drive a combine down this road is going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, with the head not on, just the combine itself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. And park this here and yeah this is one field fully planted almost fully planted and you know got my amateur gaps here which is embarrassing but oh well <laughs> so it's forgetting to start the planter after turning around but here we are uh, it'd be nice to see this uh, as a green field once it starts growing Um, but yeah, I, yeah, so what I had been talking to myself about before I started the recording was I'm going to see about a fertilizer drone. Uh, since I've got several small fields. And I'll go ahead and see about, uh, where is that? And the fertilizer drone is a mod, it's not perfect. Um, like I was saying, you have to actually fly it to the field instead of being able to put it on a truck or I haven't had the success of putting it on a truck and transporting it so um, but it's kind of a neat tool so uh, we'll go over there and get that can't believe I was <laughs> like there was a good 10 minutes of me just talking on the mic and not in the screen recording had prematurely ended itself so Anyway, I'll drive over there. Luckily, this field is not too far away, but I uh, and I need to figure out what I want to do as a home base. Um, in some maps, I've just over taken a field and just turned it into a you know just kind of like 
landscaped it into a home base. So I might end up doing that since there's so many different fields. Like I was saying, over 80 different fields in this map. So I might just convert one of those kind of like, you know, barns and machine shop and that and stuff. So, but yeah, this map is big and there's lots of different fields all spread out all over the place and lots of bumpy back roads. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do. Oof, <laughs> I felt that. Uh, I guess I don't remember where the... Oh, that's right, I can just look on the map. I guess this is a town. It kind of looks like, you know, I don't know, something's going on here. Under construction. There's that. Oh, it's like the next right over or something. I hope this connects. Yikes. <laughs> Some serious potholes. Yikes. <laughs> This is why this is why I went with like the uh, off-road vehicles. You know, got the lift kit and different things. Oh yeah, this is the yard. Okay. Plus, I'm excited to drive this. Uh, what is this? This tractor here. It's got the forestry uh, gear on it. Uh, what is this thing? Oh yeah, 48, 40, okay. Yeah, so this thing just looks like it belongs here. So I'm excited to put that to use in the field. I did uh, get a conventional fertilizer sprayer. Um, I like the star because it's, you know, you can do liquid and liquid or um, dry. It's both, both uh, available on this. So and it's just a really small, compact, neat little machine. Um, but here's the drone, and let's see. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Yeah, like you can see, this is how you fly it. And uh, it's got the cool view. Let's see, how do you go? Up, down. So if I try and land it in the truck bed, I, it's not going to work. So yeah, kind of like bumps against it. Pretty loud, kind of annoying, but. <laughs> Just a uh, different type of tool for fertilizer spraying. Those booms fold out on the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite uh, fertilizer sprayer. Spreader slash sprayer. Uh, so yeah, I think, yeah, just finished, uh, finished up planting a field and um, uh, since I had the game crash, I'll probably you know end it here and try to figure out how to stitch that together in editing. But yeah, loving the Brazil map, Agronopolis is what it's called. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.